This one's about what it took to get here. Well, this is surreal, man. This is surreal. Eight years ago, I started a YouTube channel called Bike Chops. Now I'm flying an airplane with the uh, logo on the seat. But this is absolutely the fastest airplane that I've ever been in command of. I mean, it is really fast. And it was intimidating to learn how to slow it down for landing. Dave really helped me work through that. They're gonna show me how it's done. I'm just watching how you're managing the descent because that's something I need to learn. This is the challenge in this thing, right? Like a, a high-speed oh, yeah. descent. I mean, that's yeah. what everyone needs to understand. That's what it is. It's 90% of the work in this airplane is like, okay, I gotta come back now. I thought it was neat to watch you do it because I, I was impressed how I mean, that was, I would have probably asked for another orbit when he offered it, but you did it by just being right on the money. The RV-14 is quick in all phases of flight, but with the 390 Thunderbolt, it climbs like a rocket. There it is, that was fast. Okay, that was exciting. This is the last 1.4 of the official Test window. Don't bust your altitude, buddy. Our home base is beneath the Detroit Class Bravo, so upon departure we can't climb above 2500, which this plane can easily get to within 90 seconds. Man, I'm already at Essex. Good lord. Uh... And after leveling off, it covers distances in much less time than I'm used to. It's really slippery, and there's no retractable gear or speed brakes to use to slow down. And we're not pulling the power back aggressively, which is a bad habit at best, but because we're still breaking in the engine, we're trying to keep the power in as long as possible. Okay, I need to interrupt this cut right here because Flight Chops largely exists thanks to the support of patrons who have been here since 2014, which helped us create over 200 episodes of flying content, which attracted major industry partners who partnered on that airplane, along with helping create all the content that we've created. Thanks so much for the awesome community. I mean, that's how I met Dave. That's how I'm part of the CH2A or the Canadian Aviation Museum, which is rebranded to just recently. Amazing community. And I couldn't make the content without direct input from viewers. And just like the Patreon supporters, the industry sponsors support all the content that we make. So even if I don't feature them, they're still supporting, which really frees me up to tell authentic stories and then feature them when it's appropriate, which is definitely the case in this one. So for this episode, I'm importing the extremely rich data from the Garmin panel into Cloud Ahoy for a solid debrief. We'll be focusing on two flights from the Marathon Flying Day when Dave and I finished the test flying hours. The episode covering the Marathon and those final test flights has already been published, but I didn't share the landings in that one because I knew it was worth a dedicated episode to focus on those. And coincidentally, since publishing that last episode, Cloud Ahoy has issued an update that enhanced their scoring systems so the exports that I did had both Dave and I scoring a 63% on our landings last time. It was good to get that out of the way. Yeah. And Detroit Foxtrot Charlie Golf Alpha is test complete in the descent back to Windsor. But with the updated debrief, we both scored much better. So this episode will cover that in great detail. So we'll pick this one up at the end of the climb performance test, which required max gross weight, including me holding a kettlebell in my lap. They're gonna show me how it's done. I'm just watching how you're managing the descent because that's something I need to learn. This is the challenge in this thing, right? Like a, a high-speed oh, yeah. descent to yep. get the pattern altitude at 150 will be joining the downwind. But yeah. you got a prop to break with and you level off and bleed off that 150 because here we are basically entering downwind about now. And you're coming through 140. Yeah, pretty cool. And you're at altitude. Nice. And are you full, you're not full fine yet, eh? No, no. 2600. Yep. Full ridge though. No. Tower Fox, right, Charlie Golf Alpha, left down in one, two, full stop. Charlie Golf Alpha, tower number one, traffic departing at. Number one with the traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha. Props, full fine. Charlie Golf Alpha, tower cleared to land, runway one, two. Clear to land, one, two, Fox, right, Charlie Golf Alpha. Dave crushed it by scoring an 88% on this one. But stick around to the end to see if I can beat that with mine. I got the traffic on the Garmin. Okay, near Mike Whiskey Tower, start your base turn now. Number two, following RV 14, half mile five. A little hot. See Mike Whiskey. 500. Should work out though.
So this one's obviously going to be pretty hard to beat. And I love seeing the little Cloud Ahoy airplane tail dragger in the three-point attitude thanks to all the Garmin data. Off at Alpha. Oh, fuck. Almost. So this was the second flight of the marathon day. I had already done a dawn flight before Dave got here. All right, well, I'm going to get something to eat and have a nap. Yeah, how about it, man? I'm going to do two. I'll do back-to-back. -back. I wouldn't want to drop this on a wing. No, that'd be a bad day. Okay, so with that complete, I did three hours this morning. You're going to do like knock out five or so, two missions back to back, and I'll come back. At... Somewhere between five and six is the plan. And that's how it worked out. I got a good rest before my final flight of the day at sunset. I'm going to have such a good nap right there. Oh, it's going to be so good. So let's pick this up at the end of that marathon day. All right, fuel's going to stay where it is. Pump is coming on. So that's gas. Undercarriage is down. Mixture. Go for rich now. Let's stay at 2,000 to get a little closer. Uh, that's mixture, prop to go. Switches. And security, nobody else on board. Pumps check is complete. This flight had been about an hour and a half of autopilot squares out there in the county. All right, so I'm coming up on five miles, still going buck 50. We're on autopilot for a while there, get a little ends and feet action here. So it rolls on heading, wake my feet up. Also creates a drag, help me slow down. Winds of traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha is uh, five miles southeast of the field. Inbound, flying overhead the field, joint mid left downwind, zero seven, full stop. Winds of traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha. All right, I'm gonna go up to 2600 RPM just to give me some prop braking. Scrubbing out altitude here, I wanna stay at circuit altitude. All right, coming up on flat speed, so prop full fine. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, switches, security. Second gum check complete. And I'm within flat speed range, so that feels good. There's the traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha, overhead the field, about to join, mid, left downwind, zero seven, full stop, Charlie Golf Alpha, in winter. My biggest note to self on this one, as flap speed, is that I think I was being too conservative and slowing down a lot sooner than I needed to. Oh, it was getting a little hot, so open the flap. That could have been a downwind check item. Winter traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha is turning left, base, zero seven, full stop. Winter traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha. But I'm definitely happy with the rest of this approach and landing. I ended up beating Dave's score, which is pretty cool. But beyond just spitting out a number for the score, this system is insanely detailed, and I'm really excited about how much it's gonna help me improve. It's looking really closely at how well you're doing maintaining your target airspeed on final, your rate of descent, and even your centerline alignment. Part of what got my score from a 63 to a 92 were the significant improvements that were made for all visual approaches, short and long field landing, by looking at speed at 50 AGL rather than over the threshold. All right, full flaps. Winter traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha, final, zero seven, full stop. Winter traffic, Charlie Golf Alpha. The target is 75 knots indicated with full flaps on short final. Fast, get her down, slow her down. All right, it's a bit of a right cross. 500. And I'm fast. Another challenge with this airplane is that it's kind of like a warbird in that you end up being blinded by the nose once you commit to the round out. So what I'm checking here is to make sure I've got the same size pie slice of runway on my right because I'm about to commit to only looking at the left side during the flare and touchdown. There's the hibbity hoppity. So there's obviously lots more to come as we get into flying this airplane operationally. And I hope you enjoyed this particular debrief. Thanks again to Cloud Ahoy. That level of detail is awesome. If you want to share your score debriefs, I'm going to be doing the same using the hashtag 
Cloud Ahoy score on social media. And maybe at some point we'll get a leaderboard going and do some giveaways. And until next time, keep your flight chop sharp. Awesome, man. Thanks for bringing it. This bringing is it. bringing it for Team Chops. I want to see that landing in a video. That was a, probably yeah. one of my better ones. It'll be in it. <laughs>